We've been live for five minutes and one of our people already docked himself. We were live for like 30 fucking seconds and Michael docked himself. <laughs> I literally went, hit the the button, and and then you guys started talking about a cat and immediately he's like, look, if you want this fucking cat, you can come to wherever the fuck Johnson Town, New York, because I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking awful. I am so awful. Timing on that was horrible. <laughs> horrible fucking timing. Hey, hey, does anybody remember the names of the gnomes? I remember Jameson. M Michael. No, Matt. Matt. I thought it was not Matthew right. sounds correct. I thought I had an M in it. Jameson and... I feel like it had an M. Bartholomew? Maybe. No, no. I no, use Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Yeah, I try not to use the same name twice. If I can help it. Viewers, Viewers. who watched last week? <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest joke I've heard all day. <laughs> Viewers. <laughs> Everyone. Oh, then, hey. then maybe Michael didn't dox himself. <laughs> Uh, no one was there to say it. Exactly. I just have to go delete the stream. <laughs> Christ. Oh, goddamn doxing immediately. Look, uh, th this is one of several reasons the content with Michael usually has to be edited heavily. Of course, of course, if it wasn't in the... He's lucky most of the channel is, like, 17 plus. Or we would be so fucked. Pussy. Demonic. I'm not liable. Crap. You are, because you're liable by association. But I have not said anything. Very relevant. <laughs> no, it is very relevant. No, it's not relevant. What the fuck is your stream even called? A, a name. The name? My name? Yeah. My stream is Axel Graves, so it's twitch.tv slash Axel Graves. Cool, 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 cool. Also, don't look at the porn that's on there. No. At least don't report me. <laughs> hey, how about you don't tell me how to live my life? Not fair. But still. <laughs> still, still. I'd say seal again, but then it would be triple sealed and we can't undo it. Mateo? No, that's not right. I do think it was- Mortimer. No, I don't think so. I think it was Matthew. Oh, cool. <coughs> Got it in two. <coughs> I have died and been risen as a merm. Oh, your your delay is like negative two seconds. Yeah, I have a pretty good fucking connection. Anyway. Oh, maybe my audio is lagging behind though because I have my export settings up. <laughs> I have to crank all the mm, preload stupid shit. <coughs> oh shit. Super high when I do that. I can't nope. figure out how to get a link copy. I mean, you Found could just, it. uh, I was just gonna say if you twitch.tv slash Axel Grave, it'll go. Bold of you to assume I can type. Fair. Although. I feel like this is an age where everyone knows how to type. You'd be surprised. 
I have stupid fingers. I mean, being Just good at typing and really... knowing how to type are different. But did, did you hear my hilarious joke? I did. Okay, good. I, I laughed on the inside. <laughs> but the outside is where I can hear it, and that's where I need it to survive. <laughs> the outside is I'm what like, counts. <laughs> I'm like Tinkerbell, okay? If you don't laugh at my jokes, I die. All right, fair. I feel like uh, I am that way, but with my shitty, shitty dad jokes. Mood. Ah, uh, yeah. So, who now that we're on stream, not doxing ourselves, who wants to give an update <laughs> since we're an hour and a half late? Man, it's going to be a fun stream. So, so, w fucking Michael jumped off a mountain after we got out of the carnival, right? So, we're out of the carnival, we're in Bytopia, which is honestly the best place in the world. And <laughs> so... No bias. No bias. No bias. Dun, dun. Buy it, buy it, buy it, get, get it, it, buy it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, so we, we rescued Michael for two days of trying to climb a mountain. Um, in which Florence gets on the top of the mountain, pack, put him in a snowball, and just in the most mischievous glee, tosses his happy ass down the mountain before mm -hmm. drawing mowing it. And through the grace of God, we, Ben by God, I mean Axel, uh, he didn't hey, continue down the mountain. Honestly, I could have sent you all the way down the mountain. Once again, <laughs> I don't want to give him the satisfaction of dying. He doesn't deserve that. Oh yeah, if he would have, if he would have gone down the mountain, he he was done. That's oh, it. I oh no, no, he he had that fucking what was it, a, a, a croca or whatever fucking mountain climber character ready to go. He's just like, I got it. Yeah, it's good. I was like, no, you sir get to let that from character burn. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I make characters space is off. at least look, look. I, space is off making other characters <laughs> and this is why I at least if I'm going to make another character at least I run half of the shit by accident only half of it the other half, half is a surprise yes always some crazy crap Axel at least when I try to pull shit I'd message you first <laughs> Nah, I like to keep for loops. Keep them on the toes. I'm the best player. I'm, you say we're nice. We're the nice pe uh, players. We're the we, nice we, players. I like that. I like I'm that. Always messy. And then I pull some shit with Mage Hand. It's true. Ooh, I wonder how I could use Mage Hand and then we gamble as we gamble. You do have fun with that, mm, and you would bet your 30 bucks on that 40. I have a feeling that you will be in a bit of trouble if you do. But I we'll think see. so. I'm excited to see it. See, um, um, and this is why Florence is going to find a library and mind her own business. But then we found the gnome. And, and gave us finally some clothes and some information, and oh, the running gag jokes. They gave us sexy clothes and then wedged no clothes. Which is all cracking up in which you missed the tidbit where you had brought up the idea of a wedge playing poker, was it, or was it pool? I forgot which one it was. That and was having us both, uh, having Carly and Florence in the, on this east side of them. I don't remember. Oh, the craps. Yeah, the craps yeah. table. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yes. that's you weren't he yeah, you weren't here for this bit. Yeah, I probably fell asleep. No, no, it would happen a few minutes before they pinged you, uh, like, pinged you like crazy. Okay, okay. Because he brought it up, and I'm not even going to iterate how much madness is about to be. What madness? We don't do that here. Uh-huh. I don't believe that. Uh, now we're going gambling. Well, I stole away. Carly's going gambling. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing. Exactly, I was about to say, we already know what Florence is going to do if she finds a freaking library in this place. 
Wedge, Wedge is just gonna have to like just bodily pick Charlie up and remove her from the gambling. Yeah, and which that's gonna be a field day because I bet you this is gonna be funny. I d do not like, like, I am so excited to see how far this is gonna go. I might have to make a will save. Oh, you, you will all have to make will saves most likely. Who knows, Sing though? Floors is proficient in those things! <laughs> oh, uh, it's a good thing Florence is, um, proficient in those things. But yes, has everybody given their, uh... Their oh, breakdown of last time? Oh, I, I think so. I think that's. Do. I think that's it. Because now we're going gambling on. Is it? Is it am I right, correct? If I'm remembering that it is a floating gambling arena. It is a traveling gambling arena. Uh, it doesn't yeah, necessarily float, though. Yeah. I think it's floating. <clears throat> irrelevant. Everything's irrelevant. But yeah, yeah, so let's gamble. Uh, Ryan, which one's the So, one? if I remember correctly, we left off on just in the morning. Yeah, they were still having. Yeah, I think they were getting ready to leave, but we were eating. We were sitting down to breakfast. Yeah. With maybe Matthew and and. Jameson? Yeah, it was Matthew. So I remember that. Because didn't at some point... Yeah, it was that. It was definitely... Those were the names. It was definitely... Yep, it was. <laughs> Bless me. Bless you. <laughs> Again. Bless oh, that you. caught me by surprise. Someone must be talking about me. Michael. I'm me. thinking about you. Does that work? Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. Who am I? Perhaps. Well, yeah, a pear. Perhaps. I said a pear. <laughs> uh -huh. I said, oh, pear. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ho ho. -ho. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, let's get this basically started. I'm s getting stuff set on this new map, but in the meanwhile, you know, RP, get your get yourselves in character. Do do what you does. Carly is eating a scone, and if there is one remaining, holding it, just carrying it in her, in her hands. She was going to put it in her pocket, but since this dress doesn't have a pocket, she's just holding it. Meanwhile, kind of a full, uh, full, and um, it's just, just enjoying the tea right now. What's Wedge doing? Making what new characters. Is Wedge doing? <laughs> <laughs> for for his his portable uh, RPG known as uh, Pocket Lizards. Hey man, don't don't judge my stuff. Sorry, it's uh, li lizards in cages. See. No, it's better than rats in cages. Well, despite all your age, Michael. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for it. You're still just a wedge of cheese. <laughs> That's funny, because the character was wedge. <laughs> You're a fucking comedian. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm great, thank you. Anyway, what is wedge doing? Honestly, I have no idea what the fuck wedge is doing. <laughs> 
As long as he's not going over the edge of another cliff, we're cool. What? Throw him off a cliff? All right. I mean, if you I really want him to go anymore. flying, I can, uh, <laughs> I can help I with that. <laughs> I can do you one better. I can do you one better, Axel. If I, I can start give getting rid of pictures. Action. Sure. If I level up, I can take the stealth fly, probably. I can pull most of these back. I think these are good to get rid of. Um. So I. I say so. We need two hundred gold to not be stowaways. I remember that. Even though it seems like it was said a week ago, it was only said a few minutes ago. Yes. Only minutes ago. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, Jameson yells at Matthew, Have you seen my coat? Uh, whereas Matthew says, No, I've been busy looking for my coat. At which point he comes out in a large... A uh, fluffy purple robe kind of thing with a long stick in sorry st cane in his hand with a topaz jewel at the end of it is he a wizard of a sort what kind well, i guess you yes, have to ask him and which florence does i mean let florence do this one I leave the arcane to the arcane. Yes, and which Florence does ask the question. Just, uh, what kind of wizard are you? Yeah. <laughs> Said, oh, I'm not a wizard. What? <laughs> Wonk. <laughs> I feel like God told me he was the wizard of sorts. <laughs> Son of, a... <laughs> of sorts? I didn't say he was a wizard. Is he a pimp? <laughs> he is the pussy wizard. Oh, <laughs> well, we're demonetized. So, <laughs> yep. yep. We are never gonna get a monetized stream. Fuck it, never. Yeah, no, man, not the break. Jesus Christ. To be fair, it's usually not me, but I just figured I'd get ahead of the ball on this one. <laughs> uh, so with yeah. the with the with the wave of realization crashing over Carly, I wep Florence on the arm and I say, oh, "That's the way we can earn gold." <laughs> no, no, and you just you know, Florence just looks at you like, "No, just we no. need money." It's a gamble. <laughs> How about this? How much would it be if you tried to sell, like, spell scrolls? I could not hear your question. Try to spell scrolls. <laughs> I never thought that I can't hear your question still. I am laughing too much more than anything. Quit laughing, <laughs> damn it! Damn it. <laughs> you leave <your> <laughs> It's not hard. Oh gosh, that was my question. Dang it, I'm, I can't breathe. <laughs> that one. Oh gosh. I mean, you could do that. If you want to be boring. I mean, it's not boring to me. Fine, if you want to earn money that way. Uh, Matthew and, uh, what's his name, Bull, say there's no sales, uh, besides what the casino sells allowed on the premises. Oh. Uh, but is there, like, a black market, or? I mean, it's a casino, what else, that, that literally you can gamble everything on, what, where? <laughs> it's like... What would you try to find that you couldn't gamble for? Oh, would you look at that? No money, no gambling, no money, no no library. Well, looks like you're all shit out of luck. 
what kind of library do you th- how do you think libraries work do you think you pay for the books do you think you buy the books from the library well it just depends on the library tear the quiet i'm not gonna anyway i don't have 200 gold but i have some gold you could start gambling with it you could you might make a a, a decent earning I or you might end up losing your soul because you gamble everything away. Uh, There's also a distinct possibility. Uh, and if that. you don't have money, obviously there's other things you can gamble with and for. For example, while you can't sell those spell scrolls, you can gamble them. I mean, how uh, are, is it going to be for its worth or um, its... Um... You don't gamble things for what they're worth. I mean, I would think so. No! You gamble Gamble. things for what you can get for them. uh, You're talking to someone that uh, has no intention of doing it. You technically can gamble things for what they're worth. But he says at this casino, that's usually not how it's done. Although you can take... Uh, usually, there are, most tables things are gambled uh, item to item, so they need to be similar because they offer so much stuff. They don't want you mixing things up. Mm-hmm. A barter, uh, a bartering system. I like it. I like very it very much. Uh, they do have an exchange room that does traffic in most currency items, etc. <laughs> although there are some things that might be out of their reach. But this is a uh, this is a special gambling hall. Jameson says this is probably the. Well, I dare say this might be the craziest gambling hall you've ever seen. I mean, that is not my forte, and it probably is more hers than mine. Carly's just rubbing her hands together, and I'm just, she's just like, you know, I'd love to be the judge of that myself. But you know what? You know what? Which, if it's such a problem for you, if you're ever uncomfortable with the bet I try to make, this, just like, you're a lot stronger than me, you can probably just pick me up and la- make me leave. What? Do you want to be my, do you want to be my moral compass, Do you want to be my lover? <laughs> Sorry. I know it's if you want to be my lover. Right? He spaced out again. <laughs> well, since he's not saying no, then that means he wants to gamble too. So, oh, what I sort of... I don't fucking gamble. I may be stupid, but I'm not stupid enough to gamble. Gambling's not stupid, it's fun. Says those addicted to gambling. I'm not addicted to gambling. I can stop anytime I want. These are just choices. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fine. Be my moral compass if you want. Be, the, be there on the moral high ground or whatever. But we still need to get away, get away off of this place. And our best way to do that is going through uh, the casino, catching a ride. But the thing is, I'm not free. It costs two hundred gold, and I don't have two hundred gold, so we're gonna have to gamble a little bit. I mean, that may be the best way. For you guys, I can just throw myself down the mountain. It worked pretty well last time. You died. I fell unconscious. Die. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, he's kind of that makes it much more better for me to need him. This is like, no, you know what? No, go ahead. Just jump off the mountain again. Yeah, do it again. I wonder how long it'll take for hypothermia to take you once you're unconscious. Probably long <laughs> enough for them to gamble at the casino, get down to the thing. I mean, technically undead cannot get a level of an exhaustion. It's true. He'll just die. He'll just... He'll just be a there until something eats him. Maybe one of those wild animals. True. Or maybe he'll freeze into an icicle. And then someone... Maybe a lucky necromancer will just happily take it. I'll be a wonderful archaeological find for somebody. Everybody wins. Yeah. Maybe like the people in Everest. 
It's most likely a bear just eats you and shits you out. Mm-hmm. Hey, my DNA will still be in there. I don't... I don't know if that's true. Yeah, I don't think that's how that worked. I mean, a little bit for a little while. <laughs> tell it, tell it, you know, I think it rapidly decomposes. Yeah. Um, they put that shit on farm fields, you know. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry, he'll grow into a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Ooh. corn that will then be eaten by a human and shit out once again. Just like what? Look on you, man. Corn don't digest. Oh, sorry. He will be shit out back as corn in shit. <laughs> just, just still in shit, but still corn. Mm -hmm. So he can't even. He can't even. That's like being around yourself. At least if you are all around shit, and you were shit, then you would also be shit. It'd just be like, oh, I'm just chilling in myself. <laughs> now you're just a piece of corn, chilling in the shit. <laughs> and that's what we talked about today on exploring economics. No, but uh, yeah. Let's. Uh, oh, uh, he says the uh, the <clears throat> the casino should be here fairly soon. I'd say another five minutes. Uh, do you guys have any other questions about the casino before we go inside and? And get a look at it. Oh, I feel like you should ask questions. I mean, the biggest question is... I mean, we're not looking to be stowaways, but also, the cost... You said the cost was 100 gold pieces, right? Per person. 200. Wait, what? It's 100 per person to ride, but... They, you must come in with the assumption that you're going to gamble if you do that. Do, 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 I do. am not, so, um... In which case, the uh, price is 200 a piece. Hmm. So, see, we have to gamble to get the best price. Yeah, no, I'm not. You do realize I have no intention of doing so. But, like... But, like you have those spell skills. No, and I do have a little bit of gold. I mean, I'm just saying. You said you were interested in books, if I heard yes. correctly, yes? Yes, yes I am. In which case, it may be good for you as well, as they have a section for gambling books. <gasps> Ooh, Florence, what do you, gamble what do you mean? Wait, what do you mean, in what sense? Well, it's very simple. You put a book on the line. If you win, you get another book. Mm. Sounds appealing, but but it... it is as they say risque. Yeah, I mean we're already hitting that uh that deadline right there with us. Graciously. Never mind. Listen. We only need to gamble a little bit to get the money to not be stowaways. As well as we know where to get off at. That's the bigger thing, is where we're getting off at. I'm getting off everywhere. Dun dun dun. I was just about to make that joke. Oh my god! Um, I have a distinct feeling a few minutes ago we mentioned we wanted to go down the mountain for some reason. I mean, getting to, you know... Lights in town. Getting, food. Getting to town. The, I thought we were supposed to get to the capital, because remember, Florence made the very high check on that. Uh, check on. Yeah, that's the yes, town. Yes. We wanted to go to town. Sorry, I yeah. should say city. Yes, the city. city. It's city. really more of a metropolis. Yeah, which I would like to. Because then means... We can at least probably find a teleport circle that can teleport us to wherever the heck we want. You and your fucking teleport circle. Mm, this is what? literally the first time she's mentioned that. Exactly. In this session, in this campaign, yes, but she has mentioned it multiple times in other ones. Because most cities do have one! 
don't they? No! Axel, you be the judge of this one because we've been about I mean, three a, times. A major city, yes. Thank you. But that's a major city. That's like a capital like city. Capital. And once again, using the circle wouldn't be free. Oh, of course not. Of course not. I'm not saying it is. Oh, wait, well, carry your options, darling. You, you could either join us and gamble. Or, Get we fucked, could, I was like... or, or we could, or we could, we could make that magic spell portal thing that I totally remember how to do, and we could go back to the mimic. That's no, Don't give no. him that option. <laughs> Why would you even give him that option? How would you not guess his choice? <laughs> Because he hated the mimic. We're just going to uh, do an intellect check. Oh no, I don't know if he's smart enough to hate the mimic. Intelligence check? He's going to do an intellect check. Just got to... Oh. Let's see here. I got to scroll back up to that part here. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, How's hey, I got a plus two to intellect. Fuck yeah. I was always I surprised how intellect. smart mummies are. I know, right? To be oh, fair, they are the best preserved undead. Plus, they leave the brain in mummies. Well, yeah, and they preserve so, uh, stuff. Actually, they don't leave the brain in mummies. I was, Wedge, as I said that, I was like, wait, I don't think that's true. Wedge, uh, he rolled a uh, 17 to remember the runes and everything. Portal. He seems to remember them. Or at least he thinks he does. All right, I'm going to now do a performance to retrace them in the air. No, 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 I, I, I cast Vicious Mockery. That's Make fine. a wisdom save. That's fine, you can Vicious Mockery me, I'm still gonna fucking do it. No, no. make a wisdom save. That's fine, I'm not, I'm going to forgo the wisdom save and take the damage. No, you can't do that. Uh, yeah, I, can, man, man, I have a negative two to wisdom. You take a one damage. Cool. No, what are you doing? He's what are you still doing? gonna do it. I don't know why you think pain would stop the guy who threw himself down the fucking mountain. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do my performance now. Uh... No, because you need to deal with magic. You're, you're, you're not magic. You're, you're, with them you're using bad logic on somebody who's... Are you using good logic on someone who functions on bad logic? You're making a mistake. Make a wisdom save. Wedge for real though this time, because it's not. It's I'm not. not I'm immune to mind affecting abilities, so bite. he he is immune to mind affecting abilities. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you for making me undead, Axel. I mean, it's helpful sometimes, hurtful sometimes. I give and I take. I try to. I I want to impose this advantage on his performance attack by um like grabbing his hands and moving his hands right. That's a nat twenty on my performance to recreate. But I said, I want day. I want to. I want to mess him up. All right. Uh, I don't even know what kind of check this is. Um, grapple, I guess. Are you sure it wouldn't be like sleight of hand trying to move his hand <laughs> Uh, it would be an extremely high sleight of hand to do something like. What are you? Are you just trying to fuck him up in general? I still don't know like, if that I'm would be sleight like, of hand. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like grab his hands and like make a move wrong. I feel like that would be a dexterity check to grab his hand, and then. Um, I'm going to use my massive size, towering over Carly in arm length, to keep her out of range of my free hand and the symbols. Oh. So that sounds like a grapple check. And I will do my grapple check which with modified. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's gonna be nice. So I'll do that. That is a dirty 20 on my grapple. Got a 14. I think you know what happens. <laughs> it's just a little I bit too. To you, you're trying to what? I try to tackle him. I feel like that's also. Is that not a grapple check? Yeah, that is a, that is a grapple. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a grapple check. 
what is it? What do I roll for that? Uh, no, no, same. No, I don't try to grapple him. I don't try to grapple him. I try to climb him like a tree with acrobatics. I feel like right now you're being held at arm's length, so. Yeah. I, I use his arm as a level. <laughs> you were just so, 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 so lucky. lucky. Anyways, I'm uh, I'm uh, doing the whole portal thing. That was a uh, twenty on my performance. So. Alrighty, so you have made a shining, shimmering portal in the uh, in the air. I don't know why I and, gave you guys the ability uh, I, to do this, but it is. I, I, I jumped through it. No, I'm connected to you. All right. So you you jump through the portal. portal. Yep. All righty. <laughs> You, you fall down, and now you must make a perception check. Oh, I will check. <laughs> Did I go through the portal too? Did you yeah, go you after him? Me. You were attached to me. Uh, you were holding was... her at arm's length, which is not the same as holding her. Oh. I was trying to grab him and make him not go. That's up to you. If you kept holding him, then you went through with him. <laughs> Uh, oh, I don't want to make this quick. <laughs> Fuck your gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, that was a perception check. Um, using my old character, that's a 21. But <laughs> perception based on wisdom, that's a negative 2. So that's a, that's a 14 on my perception check. You look around and see uh, what looks to be a snowy mountain range. I would. I would I would <laughs> Man, you did a real good performance on it, though. I mean, congratulations! You almost you got that like exactly right. Right back to the fucking Bytopia. <laughs> <laughs> How did you not see this coming? <laughs> How? How? Oh, is just sitting back watching this and looking back at the gnomes and saying, like, see, this is what I deal with. I mean, the portal is still open. It stays open for a what? little bit. But it, I, and I mean, you can see through the portal. <laughs> Can you just see him on his knees like, nah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, look back at the numbers, I see this is what I deal with. Well, I guess since, uh, I'm, uh, back on the mountain, you know what I'm gonna do? Just leave him on the mountain. <laughs> just, just leave him up there. Yeah, no, Florence does not give two shit. She's not gonna go for shit again. Uh, I, look, I look at Florence, and I no. say, no. And I say, I say, I just wanted to keep the party together. Yeah, but in this instance, I am not going to go climbing up another mountain for him. Is it too much to ask for friends to stick around? No, I'm sticking around. I'm, see, I'm standing right here. I'm standing in this chair. You are. The gnomes are just like, uh, the casino is about to arrive in like a minute. So you can, uh, you know, either shit or get off the pot. Also, I would like our clothes back after you're done with them, if you don't mind. Those well, weren't I mean, those were gifts. I, 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 I <laughs> the portal. No, you don't get them back. Yeah, one step out. out. All right, he's going one off the cliff. Out. One step uh, out. Let's see. Where's my head. drawing of the other map? All right. God, I gotta zoom in. This map is way smaller. So what did we say this was? This was 10 per thing. Those were 15 per thing. So the first cliff goes off. You know, of course. Uh, all right. So that's what? Four by 20. So 80. No, 90 feet. I think the first one is. Well, with my new strength as a mummy, which is a 16. So my my... My jump is because I think I went off my uh, regular cage when I jumped off last time, which was a thirteen. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, so, you just jump farther. It's not like it's not like you fall farther if you jump farther. Up the 
hey, you never know. I might, I might miss the next cliff and roll down the fucking side of the mountain. Oh, uh, let's uh, let's. How much is your jump again? Uh, my strength is sixteen. So whatever the jump is. I think it's per like strength is like foot, so it's like sixteen foot jump. Um, uh, let me give you the exact. That helps. Uh, Unless it's maybe I think that might be basic jump and not long jump. Jumping, jumping. Also, Wedge is gonna have to make his death saves with the fucking with the roll twenty dice. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, if you're gonna die, you're dying on screen for the fucking stream. <laughs> Do it for the viewers. I'm doing this for you, viewers we ain't got. You know the dick thing? I could, especially since we've determined that mummies don't get exhausted. Yeah. If he just froze and I just made him play as that frozen piece of shit. This is like, all right, you gotta, you gotta roll to see if you can move your hand. <laughs> nope, can't move your hand. Try again next time. <laughs> I, I don't, I love how hard you can fuck people by making their characters weird. So how far do I jump again? I think it's sixteen feet. Unless you do a running jump. Uh, when you make a long jump, you cover a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet on foot before the jump. Uh, probably. Um, your strength determines how far the jump is. When you jump, make a long jump, you cover the score at least 10 feet before the jump. You're standing on the jump, you leave only half a distance either way. Each foot is clear. Alright, so I jump 16 feet out. And if you're doing a long jump, and uh, which you're making a high jump, my bad, not long jump, high jump, you leap into the air equal to 3 plus your strength modifier. If you at least move 10 feet, feet on foot immediately before making the jump. No, I'm, I'm doing a long jump, so I'm jumping 16 feet off the foot. Yep, and which, um... Coins is just like... Yeah, while well, this is going on... Could she at least ask the gnomes if they have any parchment? Uh, they say, no, our, uh, our interests in business don't usually lend us to having a lot of extra parchment around. So, 16 feet, Wedge, uh, which is enough to get about halfway down that mountain. Huzzah! So instead of taking 90, you take 45, and then you have to roll the rest of the way down the mountain and take half. Yay! So, 50 is gonna be 5 with a d6. Okay. Every 10 feet, yeah. Bonk! So, 20... Three divided by two, so you're gonna be taking twelve there, and then you gotta make mm -hmm. a roll, which is another round it up to five. Bonk. Uh, then another. Well, that's nineteen, so it's just gonna go to ten. So you got twenty-two damage from that first fall, and now you are right here, roughly. Woohoo! And from my health of 8, subtract 20, you said 22, right? Yeah. yeah 20. Uh, so that's 30, 40, 36. Jesus Christ. And I'm gonna jump again! Yeah, it's gonna take a while. I didn't make it easy for you. <laughs> yep, so I'm doing a long, uh, running long jump again. Jumping right. off the Alright, this time you roughly make it a third of the way down so you have less roll distance, but it's still another 
you know, 50 foot drop. So let's do another 5d6. Oh, hey, look at that. So there's Four another 12. So we're talking about suicide. No, we didn't know he was no. suicidal. I'm 36, so yeah. I'm at 24 health. He seems so happy. <laughs> oh, uh, now you get the roll damage, which is 2d6. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so that's uh, shit. six damage. So I'm at 18 health. And now I'm going to just slide down the. You're gonna slide down the next one. Yep, I'm gonna use my body as a toboggan. All right. No. Reactors. So I think I determined the next one is pretty fucking deep. So this will be fun. <laughs> I don't think I can do this without the advanced dice roller. And in the meantime, for once again. Oh, wrong one. Ignore that one. I need uh this many. Bonk. The manacles. No, Dude, I rolled so low on like all of those. Okay. You just, I know the last time you're only, only alive because my rolls are garbage. No, uh, actually, that's that's more than enough because half of thirty nine is nineteen. Well, it's half of half of thirty nine. Half of half of thirty nine. Because you Jesus. rolled down instead of jumping. Oh god. Um. Nine. Shit. Ten. Got to round up. Remember. Oh. Okay, 10, so I'm at 8 health. So where does that put me at again? Right here. If, on the big diagram, because we're off the main page. Oh shit! He's like right that there. That on the same level! <laughs> yeah, it's on the level that they were on when they shot past you. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where there was a cave. There was a cave around here. Fuck's sake. <laughs> but again, he was too ca he was unconscious to know this. He was unconscious. Yep. Yeah. The whole time. Oh well, I'll do what I, I'll do what Wedge does best. He's gonna do a uh, running jump off this cliff. Okay. Wait, wait, I thought this was the end of the cliff. I thought, no, wait. Oh, oh no, I, I yeah, no, know. this was just what this, this part where you stopped and went inside of a cave. I remember. Anyway, anyway. making a running jump. Yep, no, 16 feet outwards. All right, you make it all the way off this cliff. You ready? Hell yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm fucking ready. I'm ready. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? It's a small cliff. <laughs> it's a very, it's, it's a very much smaller cliff just right there. <laughs> just twenty I'm, feet. I'm at, I'm at five. five <laughs> this is in the meantime. All right, go, go, go for the next cliff. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. There's a running long jump off the next cliff. You sure you're sure you wanna do this? hundred percent. You're absolutely sure. I'm absolutely sure. Alright. I need the advanced roller again. <laughs> And this is where I'm thinking I should have made a necromancer and just seen how this would have gone much better. This might have went better. Okay. I mean, probably. Yeah, I mean, I could have at least stopped him here. No, you yeah. Would you yeah. like to scream as you go over this one? Yes, I want to scream. You know what? I can't even think of something. You think of something for me, Axel. I mean, oh no, sadly no. Boats and O's. <laughs> Boats and uh, O's! Yeah, no, 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 I cannot. Not yet. I would have to. <laughs> That's when I pop up a 1 I would have to be a level 14 to even do what I really want Holy to do. Holy shit! Oh! 
Well, you're lucky well, you got half well, damage. Got half damage. Uh, so that's, uh, 33? 34, but yes. But yes. 66, Axel. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. <sighs> My bike covers no, that part of the you, screen. Don't you know you add an extra damage for stupid? Yeah, duh. Yeah. Uh, now nah, he's, yeah, he's too stupid to know that. Yeah, that, that seems... So, uh, that so, puts uh, that me puts... at, uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are now right, dying. We're now dying. Yeah. Also, uh, by, also the way, uh, by the way, by the way, meanwhile as this happens, Matthew and Jameson say, "Look, we need to get going." We need to get going. <laughs> and they uh they uh they open the front door and walk out. Door and walk out. And I guess we follow. And you uh you hear a scream. I didn't even get to steal any. You just hear a loud scream, a loud scream and then a huge, then a huge thump huge in thump. the uh, snow about 20 feet away. <laughs> I look 20 feet away. Is it wedge? You might have to do a perspective you might have to check. Do a perspective check. <laughs> Perspective check. I'm oh, sorry, perception, sorry check. perception check. Although you might want to do the other one too. Okay, um, perception. What's a perspective check? What do I roll for that? Uh, same uh, thing, I guess. Same thing. Are you a serious? Nineteen. The wedge got there. Back to the Nineteen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that looks like Wedge. He looks real fucked up, but it's Wedge. <laughs> Alright. Did he? Are we... Are we... Are... Is that... I'm dying. I would like to look up. What do I see up? Just a really big, it's like, really almost 300-foot like, cliff. cliff. You dumb fuck! <laughs> I just love it because he never looked he before he jumped before off the cliff. He, he never stopped. He's like, alright, how big is this cliff? See if I can kill myself. He's just like, alright, I'm gonna jump off the cliff. Big one, alright, jump off big one, jump off big one. I'm like, alright, yeah, hit him with a small one. He's like, fuck. It's like, now you hit him with a really big one. Yeah. <laughs> I I am standing with the gnomes, and I would like to see if Wedge passes or fails his death save. <laughs> I do I do nothing. I do nothing. I watch. I watch him, and that is it. All right. All right. First one. First one. Fail. Yeah, fail. Fail. Second. Second. Crit save. save. That means he's automatically stable. I believe. God damn it. <laughs> I love the dice gods. <clears throat> hey, Florence. Hey, Florence. One sec. One sec. <clears throat> no problem. He's got to cough up alone. You can't fucking escape me, Michael. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to kill my character. <laughs> <laughs> now you see how now fucking hard it is for me is trying to kill one of you assholes. Hey, Florence, <laughs> darling. Darling, dear, do you happen to have that floating disc? <laughs> <laughs> I love to because he's just like, he just like coughs up blood real quick and he's like, mm, I'm okay. <laughs> Nap time. Nap time. <laughs> so, girls, what do you want to do with him for eight hours while he's passed the fuck out? I want one of those floating discs. <laughs> Lord, do you happen to have a floating disc available? And how much can your floating disc hold, by the way? I have a feeling she's going to cut pieces off of Michael to gamble with. 
Uh, don't put it past Carly. <laughs> Just zombie arm. Zombie arm. Zombie arm. What can I get for a zombie arm? Do you ask that out loud? A human uh, arm? Loud. Yeah. Also, was he human? Don't, I don't believe he was human. No, he's oh, Ganassi. Earth, how's Earth Ganassi? Yeah. So he's that an Earth Ganassi. That doesn't Earth have to Ganassi. be what he ends up being. He can be whatever. Well, I mean, well, I mean he's a mummy. You know, I'm a mummified Earth Ganassi. Get it right. Well, he can he can end up being whatever when we're done gambling. Like, if we gamble his zombie arm, could we potentially get a different living arm to be able to attach to him? Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not. No, I'm not a monster. I'm gonna make Frankenstein. Technically, you could. Technically, you could. Well, I don't know if you're well, asking this out loud. Asking. First I say, first I say, before I ask that, I say, um, do we have ten minutes? Pretty please. Jameson looks at his watch pretty narrated. He's like, well, you're lucky it's running late. I'll see what I can do when they get here. But you better hurry. You better hurry. And I give him my best puff. And then I say, make the ritual flow. And then I turn to Matthew, and I say, Hypothetically, we have this zombie here, who I'd like to not be a zombie anymore. Hypothetically, could I cut off pieces of him and then gamble with them for living pieces that I can Frankenstein together? Well, you can do well, that. You can also gamble on your species. You can gamble on your age, your sex, your sexuality. Uh, you can, uh, I'm not imagining things when I say you can gamble anything in this casino. If you think you can gamble it, and even if you think you can't gamble it, you can probably gamble it. Probably. I could gamble away my jam yes what would i be genderless i would be gender would i still get my same pronoun uh no uh, so no have, you 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 would forfeit your pronouns forfeit. it's part of the gambling it's deal it's in the contract contract What happens? What's that? What's that? What happens if I break the? Uh, you don't want to know. Wildly, dude. Wildly. Wildly. Well, uh, you may be immediately ritual summoned back to the casino and then dissembled. Dissembled for your work. For you. Maybe. Maybe. But we don't know. Yeah, it just depends. Yeah, it just depends. On what? Ah, uh, if Greg the uh, Dissembler likes you. Can I meet Greg? I never met uh, Greg, and I'd rather not. I'm sure I can get Greg. You know, you you, know, you, you talk to Greg. You talk to. I'm very likable. Yeah, I wish Greg was. Change. You can become a changeling, but I think you have to go to the high roller table for that. High roller. High roller. And see, now I don't even have my moral compass to prevent me from teeth. You could also gamble that away. I mean, I mean, please don't actually try to attempt to do it. I think I've given up at trying to talk to this woman. It uh, talk some sense to her. Florence, do you want to be my moral cop? No! No! That's what See, I like living. Oh, I like living too. I'm not gonna die from gambling. Lee. It, it, it tries not it tries to. Not. It just resists the urge to look back at um, Carly and give her the most <clears throat> intimidating look intimidating. she can muster. 
can roll an intimidation check. What do I roll against intimidation? It would be an insight. It's gonna be the comical joke of Florence actually being intimidating. Good luck. I believe that was already covered in. Oh, which we, you can hear an angry Florence behave. Flip, flip, it cussing and flipping everybody off. <laughs> it's okay. You can be. You're, you're a little duck bunk. You're angry. Would you roll a oh, fifteen? Not gonna beat my dirty twenty. Yeah, no, I figured that much. I just boop her nose. So I swear to gosh, one of these days I will literally be scary, and then what you gonna say? The only way you'll ever be scary. I feel like I just had a conversation with Michael about wizards. All right, damage resistance doesn't. You know, I feel I like it say, does, I though. Like it does. I will say. I feel like like half of Superman's intimidation factor is exactly that. Probably. Okay. I will, I... Let's put it this way: something that can resist your damage but can't hit very hard. Very hard. Not very scary. You're saying- well, I'm just saying, Florence can be scary, it's just that she's choosing not to in the AU because of- What about a virus, and, Michael? And, they don't attack lugs. very strong, but they can't be hit. No, i <laughs> And- and Florence, how about this? How about this, darling? What I- what I will say when you are scary is- Oh my god, look out the window, there's pigs flying! It was Florence- look at Carly, this Carly, dirty, dirty look she can buster. And said, "Well, if that's the day, then I really hope you hope you look out the window at some point soon." Speaking of, what are uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Matthew says, tapping his foot and his pimp cane. She's ma she's making the she's making a a a, a thingy, a floating disc, so that yeah, way we don't have right? to carry his flat a fat ass. And I'm a thousand percent going to sit on this floating disc as well because it can definitely hold my weight. Um, and I don't want to walk. And... So in short, I'm going to be the only one that's having to walk. Both, uh, both, uh... I mean, I guess they, they do, don't. They look at you, uh, and they say, Well, I hope there won't be too much walking. Too much walking. And, see, and this is what I put up with, and I'm 250. No, there won't be much walking, and I don't know where the where the casino is gonna stop. Well, well, Jameson looks and he puts his finger on his beard and strokes it for a minute. He says, "Right there," and he points forward. And just about at that point, a uh, a large mechanical metal foot drops into the hole in the ground that had already been there, shaped. Almost like a four-pronged like tentacle. Four -prong tentacle. And uh, you hear and feel a heavy shake in the ground. I jump. All right, that was that was that was very impressive. Very very good timing like that. Right. I never got good timing like that. Good timing like that. Matthew's like, yeah, you're always yeah, early. You're always early. Oh damn. That would, would, you know, Jameson then blushes and huffs. Meanwhile, Florence, by uh, ten minutes has gone by, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so the, awesome. disc, the disc is lo uh, loaded up um, with wedge on it. And Florence is going to be like, yeah, please. Heck, they have, hopefully the place is warm. It was, um... Very generous, but um, definitely is not ideal for war. I, I will sit. How big is the disc? Um, three feet in diameter. How thick? <coughs> wedge. <coughs> Pretty thick. Probably a roughly that. Roughly that. Roughly three feet. Probably. Side to side. I'm sit on his. I'm gonna sit crisscross applesauce on his shins and say, Onward! 
in which Florence looks at you and says, yeah, and I'm apparently supposed to be the most non-intimidating thing, and yet you're telling me onward. I ought to just dismiss the damn thing right now. That would be goddamn hysterical. (laughs) (laughs) I say, in character. Oh, but... I'm serious, even though I really don't want to go through the 10 minutes again, and I don't think these guys want to wait the next 10 minutes for that. No, so, I'm right. But I'm fine. Right. Yay! Yeah, until we yeah, get on the thing, and on. you have to find a way to keep your... She looks at Wedge and looks back at her luggage. It'll be fine. Have fun. Find ways to keep your luggage. Oh, Florence, you should sit with me. We probably don't all weigh 500. No, it does not work like that. I grab Florence around the waist. It does not work like that, because look at the second description. Because she's not within 20... If she's 20 feet of a feet within it. Um... So if she's within 20 feet of the move, if she's within 20 feet of the disc, the disc cannot move. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I let her go. Yeah, and she. You know what? The the thing you can do though is technically, although you'd have to get like a something to push you. Uh, you can have two different wizards cast floating disc for each other. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Trust me. Um, what's his face did uh, was briefly talked about it. Um, what's his face? You know what? What's his face? I, 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 maybe. I, I, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to think of his name, but gosh darn it, I will send you the link, because I'm not going to try to remember it immediately. Gnomes, would you like to join me on the floating disc? Uh, they look at you and they say, is there enough weight left? Is there enough weight left? Uh-huh. How, wait, how much do you weigh? Oh, you yeah, know, uh, yeah, no. I believe roughly 80, 70, 80 pounds apiece. 70 to 80 pounds? I mean, there should be. Oh, no, I sorry. 40, 40 to 50 pounds a piece. 40 to 50? I mean, I only weigh like 150 at that. If and that. Goes, and she kind of says it holds up 500. And, um, and a mummified wedge probably weighs about a... Uh, how much do you think about a 210-pound mummified... Now mummified now corpse would weigh? Thanks for watching this one. Considering that the human body is heavily water, I'd actually say you probably drop like 50 pounds. Alright, so we'll say, we'll say a mummified wedge weighs about 160 pounds. There it is, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, we have plenty of room. Don't, please, please, come on, wait a minute, but after they just insulted me! How did they insult you? Was no, no, you! And she kind of looks at Garly. Garly. How did I insult you? I am scary. So scary. Please don't you dare patronize me. Make an... Make a what? An insult. Oh gosh. (laughs) Oh gosh. With a six? No. (laughs) No, no. No, you don't. You believe me. You believe me that I that when I say you're scary. You... And when she's just like, I mean, it's not a crit fail. And she's like, no, oh, no, okay. you still, you still believe me though. You you believe I actually think you're scary. So, shall we? And I offer a hand up to the gnomes because the the. Uh, the floating disc is three feet off the ground, therefore at their height. <laughs> Hello? Sorry, one more time? Sorry, one more time? I, uh, I say, shall we? And I offer a hand up to the gnomes because the floating disc is three feet off the ground and therefore at their height. Uh, Jameson bows and Matthew curtsies and hops on. Wonder. And says, let's, says, let's, let's ride, ride towards, the foot. towards the foot. Onward! It's not gonna stop, and we need to catch the, bitch. catch the bitch. Oh damn, Florence, catch the bitch. Florence looks at you like, buddy, do I look like I'm a, I'm a sled dog? 
No, you look like a wizard, a very powerful. I feel like in his unconsciousness, Wedge just goes hush. <laughs> Please tell me that it's, it doesn't, but does she actually, Florence, does actually buy that? Buy what? Buy that statement that Carly just said. Make an insight check. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh, this is happening. Dirty 20. Uh, I got a dirty 20 as well. What does that mean? Uh, usually in ties, the higher uh, modifier wins. My modifier is plus. Plus what? Plus nine. Yeah, you win that. You believe me. Starting to wonder why do I even bother as a freaking. <laughs> why do I bother? <laughs> You, but you should be genuinely touched because I said you were great and powerful. Yeah, and I made a persuasion roll, by the way. That was a persuasion roll, by the way. She actually believes it. I know. Catch well, the just, foot! Just... At which point, uh, Jameson says, we really just need to get close to it. I mean, which point does us try to get closer to it? <laughs> Jameson's you're, just you're like, you're seeing eye mummy looks, mummy looks rough. rough. Yeah, but he it speaks is. truth. No, I was 100% honest. He is just a little bit, uh... Yeah, he... So... Also, in real life, my hair is stuck to my scrunchie, and I don't know how to take it out. Ooh. My hair is, like, knotted in this scrunchie. Ooh. I don't know what to do. Scissors. <laughs> then uh, Matthew giggles at Wedge. He's just like, you know, if you've ever been looking to sell it, we'd be willing to buy your seeing eye mummy. Ooh. How much of a how much of a hilarious thing if the one who hates gambling is gambled away? <laughs> I mean, Florence doesn't like it either. <clears throat> So it's working. <laughs> this is prostitution. <laughs> I mean, I would literally be selling your body. Technically, yeah. it's mummy trafficking. It's mummy traffic. Oh my gosh. That's get true. Out here, get out of here with this pun. We really do we have stop. a mu do we have a permit for this for this trafficking or for this for this mummy to be crossing the border? Well, you really just need to make sure to register him when you go in as property as opposed to a person. I mean, yep. it's helpful. It's helpful yep. then. It's helpful then that he's actually on the floating disc. Indeed. Also, you'll have to go through an appraisal when you go through the uh, the scanner. A scanner. Well, so I can't just self-report. Well, no. No. You you'll mark down your report, but then you'll be scanned to see if you were being truthful. So I can't like lie then. That would be a bad idea. Probably. They don't take kindly to liars. Well, damn, that's like my whole shtick. I'm a bard. So cheating is also not necessarily taken kindly to, and neither is stealing. We, we'll go over the rules when we get to the entrance here in a moment. Meanwhile, Florence is just like... I mean, I've never heard of a bard that purely lives off of doing a... Uh, uh, Fibbing. Although, really? you must have heard some very talented bards then to make you believe that. Oh, definitely. Although, mm -hmm. did I hear an all glow from the DM? Well, we'll have to explain well, the full scope of the scope. casino once we get up there. It'll be easier. It'll be I mean, how far is Florence from this thing? Uh, currently? 
probably another five seconds. <coughs> <coughs> And which you could just I swear to gosh, please tell me there's not a perception check to see if she heard that. Uh to heard what what Wedge says? Yeah. No, I mean unless he's mumbling, but I mean it's not like he's whispering. Yeah, he's mumbling it. And if the disc is moving, she has to be at least twenty feet away. From the oh, that is true. So, uh, yeah. does can you hear a mumble from twenty feet away? Depends on uh, how loud and stupid the person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we all might just be taking a tumble. Yeah. No. Uh, I mean, uh, probably not. You probably would have to make a decent check now that I remember you're twenty feet away. Oh gosh, I want to see this. I want to freaking see this oh, crap. I mean, Carly is sitting on top of my shins. Mm -hmm. And you've got two gnomes, I'm assuming, somewhere else on your body. Uh, 13? Yeah, no. Wait, wait, let's see what the DM say. Uh, I don't uh, think so with a 13, unfortunately. What? That's a, a third that's You're a, twenty a, feet away. And it's that's, a that's, that's, I, always I always go by right. So right, let's so let's go by the factoring of what a roll means. A Ten is the average, average Joe. Average Joe. Yeah. Twenty is is nearly imp well, well, not nearly well, impossible, not but impossible. very it's super lucky. It's like stu super rough. Super rough. And above twenty being the stuff of legends. So anything between uh, 10 and 20 is 10 and 20 between regular and outstanding, and 15 would be pretty good. I'd say at 15 I would have let you hear him say, because that would have been pretty good, but 13 still just... Meh. I mean, it's better than average, but it's that's once again, you're listening to mumbling on a mountain from 20 feet away. Good point. Jesus, wow. I need to turn that volume down. Bled my ears apart. I am sorry. That is I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. How fucking. In which Florence what? says, "Did uh, is he still sleep talking? Because she has at least I'm guessing he has heard him sleep talking. Is he still he's sleep talking? I don't think he's sleep talking. <laughs> is it not a strain of lie? <laughs> no, because. I said, I don't think it's sleep talking. He's not talking, he's mumbling. You can roll an inside if you want. I'm gonna roll persuasion. At which point you guys arrive at the leg. And it lifts up into the air. Probably about 50 or 60 feet. Uh, and starts moving forward to press down again as another leg moves forward towards that track mark. Oh shit. And uh, you see the legs moving upwards towards the structure. Um. Once I don't asleep. believe me. Uh, Florence does still... not believe what Carly is saying, even though it is 100% truth. But I wonder but... why. I wonder why. What reason I mean, could she possibly have? She asked if he's still sleep talking. In which she's still. Would it, would it be the same as sleep mumbling? No. Because talking is usually more coherent, and mumbling is not. Yeah. He's just coherent. typing coherently. He's not yeah. talking coherently. So, like, you don't believe me when I say which that much he's better. not sleep talking? So, you believe that he is sleep talking, even though I said. Heck. Yeah. But so, we're up at the casino uh, now. How exciting. Yeah. yeah, and which Florence looks at Carly and says, Well, everybody all fit. We're uh, here. Why? Why? We're here at the leg. Am I not allowed to float? As one would have a queen float by? Florence looks at her like, uh huh. 
That's not an. Or it just gives her the look of the year. Hey, uh huh. I bat my no. eye though. How would you bat? <laughs> just, you bat, bat him. I'm batting. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence is not in the mood. It's like everybody off. I mean, except the, uh, anyone conscious, get off. Unconscious, I'm stay on. on. And I don't mean uh, just at the drop of the hat. I hop down off the floating disc, but I'm very petulant about it. Stop being petulant about it. She's just like I. I walk the most of the mileage. I. I am a grown half elf. I will do as I like. Yeah, but I'm older than. Then cries. Then cries. <laughs> and then I cry. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Yeah. I figured. Which Lord is just really such a drama queen. Dr drama queen. I'm a bard. Oh, I've heard less drama from one. And which is actually the truth. <laughs> <laughs> if we've gone by the AU standards, she's, she's accurate. Accurate. <laughs> Listen. Anyway, we're here. Yeah. At which point, uh, Jameson uh, looks up and calls out in a real loud, booming voice that doesn't match his gnome physique. Hey! 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 Hey, you clunky bastards! Come and pick us up! Pick us up! When nothing happens for a few moments until you see some shapes start appearing out of the sky. One large one and several little small ones. About five or six of them. And they fly towards you. Um, can she try to guess what the heck they are? Yeah! With a perception check. I want to do it too. A nature check. Okay. Nature check? That also works. That also. Well, I thought. Consider wait, these what it, Did you say? I think I said perception, but nature is the one I think you use to identify monsters usually. Um, let me make sure. Eleven. So the uh, the yeah. the creatures that are coming towards you seem. There we go. That's a, that's a pretty good one. You and your nature checks. I guess I'll do yours first. Uh, so uh, the so uh, the thing that's the, uh, coming towards you, towards you. Sorry. Looks like a small varied composition of geometrically shaped uh, creatures that that seem to fly and carry little sticks. Or spears of some kind. Uh, if you were to guess from your yes. knowledge, they look like Modrons of, a, of various sorts, but they're still a bit far away. Um, from my that was from my nat twenty, or do I know for a fact those were Modrons? No, nah, I mean you know. Nah, I mean you know. And uh, I, I don't remember. You guys have seen a Modron, right? No, it's a different. All right, no, then, yeah, I mean, you don't, like, know, no, but you know from books. Yeah, for me, it would be books. For Florence, it would be books. No idea what the fuck... Are they... Could we die? Those are Modrons, if I remember correctly. What's a Modron? Uh, a Modron could a Modron. kill us, yes. I know what a Mo Although you'd need a pretty decent Modron to kill you guys. I don't know, I think one could kill me pretty easily right now. I mean, I think a fucking scorpion could kill you easily right now. I think a fucking, I think a fucking rabbit could kill you right now. Florence could do it. I honestly think a rabbit could kill you right now. A wobbly staircase could kill you. No, if I'm gonna have a rabbit kill you, it's gonna be the rabbit from fucking Monty Python. Good. Like oh, no, 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 no. I know which one you might want to do. I will DM you that one, because I think I know what rabbit would work, too. So, uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, they start coming down towards you, and uh, they get within about 15 feet flying in the air, and you see that there's a bigger one among it, 
Uh, Jewel knows it's a pentadrone. And uh, the other three are little monodrones, and they're 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 just chilling there, and uh, they make some noises that you don't really maybe understand unless any of you speak. Uh, Modron. Modron, yeah. Uh, let me check. Hold on. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be a big new. Um, I can do Modron, better. Okay. Modron is Modron not is like not a language for a player. Yeah, that yeah. was a joke. I mean, there's also the running gag joke of just Florence just doing comprehend language. <laughs> uh, you could do that, but before you do, uh, you see that these Modrons all have little boxes strapped to their heads. And uh, out of the box, you just hear in like an old Windows voice noise sound out. Hi! Hi! And like all of them hi. do like two or three little hi, 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 hi. And which Florence kind of waves at it. And they wave back, hi. except for the pentadrone who doesn't really have arms. I lean over. You lean over to. To Florence. Mm -hmm. I say now I'm getting on. Jameson uh, looks over, he's like, don't be uncomfortable. These are our rides. Our ride? Yeah. Yeah. I see. Makes sense. Cool. I mean, they are reasonable. Yeah, these are the Modrones. As well as the Pentadrone. Yeah, that, yeah, I call that guy Pen. Yeah, that's... Hi, Pen. Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, 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 hi. hi. How do we ride the? Uh, they actually uh, carry they you. Actually carry. You. I mean, one's well, classified one's as class a large, so the pentadrone is probably her, her best bet. Yeah, usually two or three yeah, of the little guys carry you. Guys carry. Um. Except for Mike. All right. Never let Mike carry you. Mike, you just hear Mike. one say. Hear one. <laughs> and then all the other ones go shame, <laughs> shame, 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 shame. What is Mike do? <laughs> Mike knows what he did, and Mike looks down in shame. And she kind of feels bad for Mike. I I don't like how you're using my name for that one. I uh. I think the funnier thing is no one remembers that reference. Oh no, I got the reference. No, no, no. Um, that is from up? partially the reference, but does anyone else remember a specific little Modron we found? Yes. From our, yeah. our, our dumbass uh, dumb dumb of adventure with my oh, my ogre character. It was the... It was the... Mike, the... Mike, Mike who's slave name. Yeah. That, Funny thing, yeah, Matt. With, 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 with Charlie's um, tabaxi. Try to bargain with, with creatures that she couldn't bargain. Like, okay, if everyone's gonna let me have, uh, chew me off, right, well, next time, not making an ad help. And then at the very last the very part, part, my dragonborn uh, disappeared. Surprise! Yeah. Surprise! Who would have thought? I love cross -up. Michael splits from the party? What? And now he comes back. Because he can't he escape maintenance. Escape maintenance. <laughs> to be fair, he be fair. really made it easy really? by doing the exact same thing. Yeah. I wasn't exactly I was specific, specific on which runes I wanted to recreate. No. no, and then he and literally he did the exact, exact same thing, jumping exactly. off the mountain that he had done before. He had done before. Mm -hmm. And landed uh, outside got, of our door. Yeah, I got a little I bit farther this time, time on my own. It's true. It's true. A little better, because I rolled like better. shit. You're going to be so mad when excited. I know, it's going to be great. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, but the little, yeah. the little Mike Modron's... Looks down in shame, and uh, he looks up. He has a little, a little scratch on his left side, so you know it's Mike. Poor Mike. Yeah, poor Mike. They, and when you say Mike, they all go, shame, 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 shame. No, 
no, no. He's trying his best. This is a perfect wedge mumble moment. That was when you say shame, they'll go, Mike, shame, Mike, 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 Oh my god. Oh, Piggy on. Um so I I I T pose so that they can get me. <clears throat> Two of them uh fly over and fly over and grab you by the arms and start to lift you up and fly you up. Fly you up really high in the air. Really high in the air. Is this uh, how it's supposed to work? Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine. Another one comes over. Uh they, the gnomes only need one. I yell back oh. at the gnomes, don't look up my skirt! <laughs> Jameson yells, I won't! And Matthew yells, too late! You slut! You know it! You know it. <laughs> Florence is gonna see if she can get 10 death uh, uh, how are you gonna do that? I mean, pen's a lot of... No, I just mean, like, how are you going to, like, get Pen to pick you up, specifically? Pen's gonna pick her up like a chihuahua. Also, wouldn't you want Pen to pick up Wedge? I mean... Sure, sure, why not? So she's gonna at least, at least ask, uh, get help from... Yeah, Pen's gonna pick up Wedge, and she's gonna go get assistance from Mike. Because Mike, Mike needs at least a small hug. I really hope Mike doesn't drop you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mike, 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 Mike. Someone, and I swear to God, please tell me she does not hear this this time because it, it is within probably within twenty feet. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, uh, not. I don't. What's your passive perception again? Because <laughs> if you're not listening in, it's just passive. Passive. Thirteen. Um. I mean, you would have heard him mumble, but you might not have heard what he said. I'll be in. Like, be nice. But Mike. Mike looks up at you with his his one big eye, and he's like, Mike. And she kind of pats him on the head. He kind of like, kinda uh, like, doesn't like uh, flinch back, but like kind of when a dog back. like pulls its head back when you pat it. And he's like, Mike. Yeah. And he n and now has a determined look in his eye. Yeah. And, yeah, Mike, will, and next Mike to him, will now help us overthrow the casino. Next to you, next to him, you see another little one, and and it it comes up and it says James. And Mike looks over and says James. And James says, help. And Mike goes, James. And Mike goes, Mike. And they look at each other in the eye. Oh my God! Is this like a little robot love story? Yeah, no. This is just like this is more just kind of just idly watching this. And just doesn't want to interrupt it. <laughs> That's the cutest. But, but yeah, Mike and Mike and James uh, both fly up and they grab fly you, up. you know, like under your arms, so not to hurt you. And they uh, they begin to fly you up into the air. Fly you up into the air. <laughs> shriek! I don't think you can sleep. Shriek. <laughs> <laughs> it does not have a history yeah, so far of sleep shrieking. <laughs> Wakes up in terror from his unconsciousness. <laughs> I wish I could just wake up from unconsciousness. <laughs> his superpowers grow by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just sleeping wedge is far more powerful than waking wedge will ever be. <laughs> just Jesus Christ. All of the sleep powers that wedge just possesses from once again putting himself out of commission. You mean a total <laughs> asshole who just runs away all the time? <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> of course, yeah, he it's like a, he's like a abber because he's a fucking coward. So there's yeah. just not even a thing. It's just like, what a little asshole. He just shows up and then he's gone. Gone. Fucking gone. Gone. No attack. No attack. No defense. He just teleports yeah, out of that teleport. bitch. Mm -hmm. He's like gone. Oh, but uh, yeah. So those those two are flying up, uh, and the pentadrone being one of the last ones. Oh, uh, he he looks over at uh, Wedge and then like positions himself over Wedge's center. Because once again, he has no hands. And then he like leg crotch locks his torso. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. So that he can fly him up. <laughs> You're being held up above a very high drop from a fucking kegel. Fucking hot. I like it. Uh, and he- and you just hear him say pen. Penetration. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> But I feel like sex, like Wedge's like, sexual orientation is yes. Damn. <laughs> According to the AU, he's a virgin though, so. I, I should absolutely have it smack him and deal one damage. <laughs> smack him on the ass for one damage. And then it would kill him. And, yes. and then it would put him out of his misery. <laughs> And so I won't. Fucking suffer. I feel like this whole like fucking like, like this half of the adventure has just been weakened at Bytopia. Just. We <laughs> can put glasses on him. Let's go to the casino. So that's our next title, right? I mean, we basically have a little book that I can do, like, you do illustrations, comedy, horror, whatever. You got the love, the love story of, of Mike and James. Yeah. Where's my note? <laughs> and we're already subverting, we're already subverting the tropes because the dumb slut, Carly, is not immediately dead. She's died least of all in the campaign. Wedge died twice. Carly died died because never. of Wedge. Blanche died because of Wedge. Or did she? Carly Carly fell unconscious once, and that's it. Mm-hmm. So really Carly is the MVP. No, no it is. She's not it was bye bye his wins. <laughs> Because it depends on the highest or lowest. But yeah, you guys start yeah, flying up to flying the casino, up. which as which as you go higher, you see is higher, several hundred feet high, high on what look to be these several hundred foot metal foot legs metal that retract and track, move and move. climb over the environment. Are we on a centipede? It's kind of centipedish, but it doesn't have that many legs. They're just really big ones. He's probably got more like probably got more like eight legs. Eight legs. So more like a spider. We're on a spider. Oh my god. So something like what I sent you, Axel, from that last session. Oh, did you? Oh, did you? Is it a yeah, giant no, mechanical no. Look spider? In, look in your DMs for five seconds. I think it's um. It might be in the, the big list of them. I don't think it's in the little ones that you sent. It's in the... Let me... Back. I want to say it's the third one, but at the, at the part three. 
Yeah, it's part three. It's the first one I sent you. Uh, kind of like that. Not necessarily. It's one. It's mechanical, but two. It's like got spider legged out. Yeah. As opposed to like a stick. But you also can't deny me that it's pretty cool. Looking. It is a cool picture. It's yeah. A cool picture. But uh, yeah, you fly up, and uh, as you bridge over the edge of it, uh, Mike's hand slips momentarily. Momentarily. But but James helps pick up the slack, so that so that Mike can can recatch his burden. Just calm down the worried Mike. Unfortunately for Michael, the only uh, the only thing he hears is the large shame from Penn. Shame. Cause he's yeah. the only he's the only monodrone close enough to hear Michael's mumbling. <laughs> Meanwhile, Florence kind of being kind of nice to small Mike the monodrone. So is this monodrome our pet now? Can we have this monodrome? Yeah, I know. Can it be nice? Uh, can Florence keep it? <laughs> it should just follow Florence around now. Yeah, this is totally fine. Uh, you... I assume you're yelling this out to somebody, or are you just talking to... Me? Yes, yeah. I say that. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh... As you're flying through there, you hear, uh... Jameson call it... No, I don't think you can have the ones. These uh these are free mono drones. Free, 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 free. They've they've been released from the collective through uh through the gambling hall. But they still have a heavy need to uh impose law and order, so they come to the casino. That is quite something. Yeah, it's uh, it's something about the law of probability. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, order of numbers or something. The law of probability? I mean, they follow the law of probability. I know, but do does the you know place have a you know reputation of sometimes not following it? Uh, there's ups and downs, but it's just as good or bad as any casino, I'd say. Ah, yeah, the house always wins, then. That is the point of the casino. Although I will say this casino does have some interesting points. You'll see when we get to take the mini tour. I love tours. I like tours, but also I don't look forward to, you know, I'm more looking for a ride on this, uh, you know, having using this as a mode of transportation. Oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. Mike. James. Still a better love story than... Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally going to chill with this. And uh, anyway, you get to the top, and as you rise over the edge, uh, you see that situated atop of this structure, which has a metal bowl on the outside to keep everything situated on top, uh, seems to be a large, like, giant lake. Lake? Yeah. Yeah. A really, really big fucking in, lake. In which Florence kind of looks at it in absolute delight. I want to make a perception check. Okay. Please tell me. Yeah. Is it real? <laughs> Nobody's yeah. checked in a while. Yeah, see, this is accurate. I should do one too. <laughs> I just wedge one do one while he sleeps, and he's just like, I don't care anymore. Just let the mimic eat me. Twenty-three. Uh, I mean, it looks real. I mean, it's artificial, but it's real. Oh my gosh, you see Florence, can you handle artificial water? Yes, yes I can. I don't mind a pool. Well, that's the thing. It's the 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 lake. The lake. So it's so it's the structure is artificial. The lake and the rocks and everything are not. I take back my question. I misunderstood God. <laughs> okay, so it's a man-made lake. 
it's it is and isn't like the lake the structure is man-made but the lake is not the lake is literally like it's been lifted out of the fucking ground like they took a real lake and just put it on a machine in which Did somebody gambled which, does, a lake? which Florence does ask about it said well legend says cuz this has been around for quite a while quite a while uh, that the original structure was built around the lake itself, and then the legs lifted everything out of the ground. Have I ever heard this legend before? Probably not. I don't think you've been to Bytopia. But I am a bard in the College of Lore. Well, you can make the roll. What do I roll? History? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, can I make a roll too? Just sure. Because of my, might be in a book or something. <laughs> might be in a book. Yeah, that's a book. Yeah. Oh my god, she's an actual book. <laughs> uh, you have heard book. of the legend, but you did not know of the details. Uh, unfortunately, Florence has not heard of the legend. I've heard of this. Is it Do you good? know the name? Is it good? Here, Florence kind of says, "Is it good?" You see, you see Carly looking delighted, and she says, "I have." Wait, what? It's literally all I know about it is that it was there, and then it got lifted out of the ground. Leg. I didn't even know it was here. I'm really excited about this. If you're excited about this, how? What do you think I'm at? Delighted. I would personally wouldn't personally jump into this water. How deep is this water again? Uh. uh... We're not sure. We're not sure. Damn it. I also wouldn't, I go, also in. wouldn't go in. Why? Why? Well, the, the water, water itself being a kind of, uh, somewhat of a defense mechanism for the casino. Casino. Protects it from monsters and flyers and such. What happens if I touch it? Well, the water itself isn't the problem. What's in the water? Well, well, and don't don't be mad at me when I say this, but they may have gotten a kraken in here kraken. somehow. There's a kraken in this water. Well, no, there is the kraken in this water. <gasps> in which Florence kind of wants to recall the information about krakens. Sure, sure. makes a roll. A 17 all right so I'll, uh, I'll give you what a 17 gets you uh, the Kraken is amphibious it has multiple attacks including its bites tentacles fling and can magically create lightning storms it ha you know it has legendary actions but you don't remember what they are and you know that it is a tough son of a bitch in which you just see Florence like saying, Oh, oh, a Kraken, those are nice. No, they aren't. Uh, Carly, don't, uh, don't act to me, but listen to me when I say I want to jump into a lake. Carly looks at you. I just feel like wedge jumping in the lake is going to be the episode of hentai I never wanted to watch. <laughs> Which Florence is like, yeah, no, I'm not picking a fight with a kraken, and I don't think talking to it is going to get any pee. Uh, it's not gonna get me out of in trouble. And then if I decide are to jump beside, into it. Are we beside? Are we beside the water? Uh, you're currently you're above currently the water. The water. Okay, so we're not like close to. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't really matter to the kraken though. <laughs> no, I mean like I'm. I want to like I want. I had initially thought of like just. Poking, poking the water and see. Uh, no, you're not that uh, close. No, no. probably about twenty okay. feet up, thirty feet up. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I'm bored. I don't know. I'm gonna leave. let it be. Let it be. Okay. He does say there is a section of the pool uh, sectioned off for swimming, though, in the center of the uh, composition. At which point you see as the mist clears that on top of the lake there seems to be several boats and floating structures mm, so this is kind of almost like um 
Uh, I can't think of it, but um, I'm trying to think of the movie. It's not like anything. Nobody, I didn't copy anyone. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. It almost reminds me of the Ghibli movie. That one Ghibli movie. Not Kiki Snowberry, but the other one. Not ca Castle in the Sky either. Um, uh, the the uh, thing is kind of Castle. You say Ghibli movie, but there's how many Ghibli movies? Yeah, there's a lot. I'm trying to narrow it. I'm narrowing it down. I'm trying to narrow it down to the one that I'm thinking of. Um, Do ants pick it? fights with tigers? Guess? It's yes. It's no face in it. I feel like they don't... I feel like ants don't even. It just like gets stepped on, and the tiger's like, "Did I just step on something?" And Spirit then it just away. walks off. Guess yes. how many Ghibli movies I've seen. Oh, all of them. All of them. I'm gonna say none. None. Oh, hey! Oh. Look at that. That's right. Wait, what? What was the answer to that? The answer is none. I have not seen any. Oh, I was thinking of a Spirited Away. Ooh, okay. Oh. And this is when we learn that I get, like, permanent disadvantage from him. And Florence gets, like, permanent, um, advantage. Even on the craziest shit. You already get permanent advantage from your fucking familiar. You get at me like this. I mean, I am yeah, sorry, I but it, it's, it's, it's that's the first that's thing that comes to mind between that as well as some awards. But yeah, you guys are roughly <laughs> right rough. here. You're gonna have to zoom oh God, all I the way out. Yeah. Zoomed in. Oh God. It's also a huge it's map, so my ping is not that big. Your bottom this left. This is a oh, massive map. Oh my god, duh. Yeah. Didn't you say in Carnival you were done making big maps? <clears throat> in Carnival. In Carnival. This is no longer Carnival, right? We're we're, we're done with Carnival. We've been out, we've been out of the Carnival been for out a while. Cough. Yeah. Did. I, I I like what you did here, Axel. You, you basically, basically just inverted, inverted. Yep. The same two, two images, three, three, four images. Hey man, you hey, you know there's not that many D and D casino maps out there. <laughs> and uh, I like you guys, but I wasn't making them on the fly this week. I was busy. Fair. That's fair. But at least the nice thing is, Florence can actually communicate with the giant kraken. Go figure. No, this is true. Though, you know, because this is Bytopia, there should be at least two of everything. So, yes, I do approve of your choice. Thank you. I'm glad someone noticed the thematicness of it. Oh, no, I'm aware of it. I just, uh, but I, and I'm appreciating of it. See, we need to work on our visible, outwardly spoken appreciation. Axel, I think you need a one minute of happiness. Yeah. I nah, think I don't you're deserve amazing. That. <laughs> Most interesting people no, no, I've no, ever no, met. No, no. You deserve it. You deserve it. Uh, I appreciate uh, you. It's funny yeah. you say that because I just got tagged in a tagged. post about when I used to do street fighting. And now I learn you used to do street fighting. What haven't you done? I mean, a lot of things. A lot of things. But I've also done a lot of things. Have um, you done quilting? Uh, yes. Motherfucker! I mean, I'm not for very long. I'm not, like, very experienced at it, but I did one thing of quilting one time. And here I thought I was gonna say, I was gonna be able to say, I've done quilting, have you done that? And you'd have been like, no, and I'd have been like, I well, did you're, something you're... the most interesting person in the world didn't do. <laughs> well, you, you're better at quilting than me, I'm sure, I mean... That is false. No, I'm I've absolutely done it. sure. I'm absolutely sure about me. Mine looks like garbage. I just started quilting last week. Well, that means you got a week. You got a, well, a day less than a week more quilting experience than me. All done by hand. I don't. I'm a good. Sir. Anyway. Anyway, so you get up here, and uh, when you get up here, you uh, you see something fly up to greet you. Hi. 
God damn it, where'd it go? Still don't know where we are. Oh, bottom left. Oh, bottom left. Bottom. Whoops, too far. I don't have you down there. You gotta put yourselves there. Ah. But. I just didn't. wasn't sure. But. But. Or not, I guess that it could not type out what I just typed, whatever. Yeah, but there we go. This is somewhere. Put it right there. We're all on like the very bottom. Anyway, so as uh, as you get up there, you as see. You uh, as your Modrons close in in a tight formation, a tiny pixie, tiny pixie show up. Pixies? Do I know what pixies are? I, don't I would know. hope so. Please let Please. that be allowed. Yeah, least, that's really. fine. Cause, gosh, I mean, I mean, I mean, we're out. Uh, you're half elven. Florence is. That's oh, racist. No, that's that's racist. racist to assume to assume that I'd know something. Mm. Okay, I'm trying. Sorry, I'm trying to get see if I can get you advantage on something. <laughs> it, wow. At which point the uh, pixie point looks the, uh, to you and looks. says, "Hello, hello, hi, hi, hi." At which point all of the motions go, "Hi, hi, 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 hi." Shut the hell up! Shut the hell up! <laughs> hi. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Please don't. It'll take forever if they keep forever. doing that. Okay, I'm done. Hi. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm done for real. I'm done for real. <laughs> Mike. Shame. 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 God damn it, Mike. <laughs> Get out of here. And which Lord's got to hug the poor Mike. Mike Modron. Well, he's currently still holding you in the air, so. Yeah. It's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a little difficult. You can like nudge your head towards him. Yeah, yeah, that works. That works. Uh, but uh, Mike looks down, Mike but looks he down, he looks heartened, he looks heartened by your uh, your head nod. And, uh, and then the guy goes on. So, welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. What's your name? Yes. That's a good start. My name. My name is Fonz. Fonz. Yeah, Fons. with a PH. The Fonz. No, nah, just Fonz. Just a Fonz. It's short for Alphonse. It's short for Alphonse. Of course. And I'd like to welcome I'd you like to, to the Battle Casino. The Battle Casino. Battle Casino. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the Battle Casino uh, has been here as long as anyone can remember, at least any of us here who work here. Uh, we'd like to invite you in. If you would like to come in, uh, you look like you are here with, uh, you know, Jameson and Matthew, their employees here. Um, you know, we enjoy having them. And uh, they usually bring good people in, so hopefully you're good people. Do we get a tour first? Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, so we're gonna start where we're, we're start at. Where we're at. You know, there are a lot there of different lot of areas, and actually, this is just one of our many floating bases on this lake. So there are other little bases we can fly to, or or boat to, should we need to. <laughs> Damn, I wish I didn't do that now. Oh, 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 you didn't wait to see where the adventure get because you're impatient and petulant. What? Oh, you're Oh, jeez. Yeah, I mean, it's not like there's other things to do at a casino besides gamble. You didn't say there'd be a battle arena. You didn't ask. You didn't ask. Part of the gambling. Seen the worst. Come on, man. How else are they gonna bet on fights? Yeah. I would love to take part in fights. This is what you get. Well, maybe they could gamble your health back in the casino. Maybe we could do that, actually. 
You can have him fight. I mean, can we heal him and he can be our um? I mean, if you could heal him. Yeah, I don't. I, we... I just, Though you could try to get in there and figure it out. Uh. uh anyway, so anyway, Pixie so. says. Well, you know, Pixie Fawns, with a P, says, uh, in the battle casino, we have a wide variety of tables. In fact, we have uh, what some consider to be the most casino tables in this whole realm. Uh, although that's actually factually incorrect. But we still like that people think are they, that. Are they the best? Well, we like to think so. It didn't do too good in last year's magazine, but you know. I mean, I mean it was definitely that proceeds. You know, reputation still precedes you as being the best. So Thank you. Not? Thank you. Uh, but uh, uh, but here at the uh, casino, uh, we pride ourselves in allowing you to gamble on and with basically anything. Of course. Uh, there are gambling tables that offer your typical games. Uh, of course, craps, 21, you know, we've got blackjack, we've got jip, liar's dice, hands of fate, we've, we've many, many games. Uh, we've got bets on races as well as fights. We have bets on who lives or who dies. We can bet on, uh, you know, facts of a person. We can bet on facts in the world there's many things that can be bet on here uh as well as many things that can be bet including money uh property wages emotions genders life death uh you can wager you know your health your sickness there's really no end to the many many things you can wager at this casino question. I mean, you guys also have a library too? Yes, we have an extensive gambling library. Of course. The, uh, the library has many different areas, uh, some which are very basic book uh, gambling, some which are a little more complicated. Uh, there are some where you can gamble for time in the library. There are uh, many there things. Are... Uh, I'd also like to point also like that to... uh, yeah. we have several sections, several sections. Uh, including uh, the yeah. cheating and non-cheating sections. There's a section? Yes. 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 Is it even a cheating section? Sanction? Well, I mean, yes. It's still cheating. Still che Got a quick question. Since we came here, uh, mishap and so we don't have all our full funds so is there any chance we can offer offer so we can make enough to be you know let it completely we don't we're probably we're short just a little bit short. yeah a little we're just a little bit we you're you're short on your ent so entrance money? money yes yes a little you you hear like the tiniest of little claps as he claps together and he says Carlos And you just you just see like seven tentacles sprout out of the water. Okay. Can we uh, wait until after Torin got let in? So uh you do not have your entrance fee. Do I take it that you are trying to come on as stowaways? I wouldn't call it stowaways. We offer, we're offering you know, services in places. We come intending to gamble. Well, that's good. That'll that will reduce the 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 price down to a hundred apiece, and then fifty for your uh, seeing eye mummy. Unless he is property to be gambled. Which brings me to my next uh, point. While cheating is absolutely uh, allowed in our cheating section, uh, which basically will 
not the only difference between our cheating and non-cheating section is that you will not be removed from the casino for cheating. You will still lose the game for cheating and being caught. So the key is not to get caught. Some would say. Um, quick question for um, do you do uh, do you have a section that is I mean that is library? Does it cater around riddles? What's that? What's that? Does it cater around the ideal of riddles? You know. Mm, there is a riddles? section of uh, of riddle gambling. Because I was curious to see if I can see if I can try uh, try my luck with that at least with that. I mean, I'm not keen on doing that sort of deed of cheating, but you know, telling riddles, t telling riddles, and you know, giving uh doing so to get uh, you know, giving riddles out are kind of something I can pass. On. I understand. I understand. With that said, uh, as we go in, as I said, we have the cheating section that is allowed. However, because of the nature of the gambling in this place, everything on a person, including their person, is considered their property until they leave, unless it is checked as otherwise. And so you are not allowed to touch anything or anyone inside of the casino, save for your gambling instruments. In order to, in what order if, to protect property. What if I were to like? Property. What if I were to like pat Florence's shoulder? No, no. Nice. Yeah. So Florence, you should probably take wedges. Your property is on your floating. We can also provide, can also provide uh, something to help you transport him for a small monetary fee. Small mon How small is small? Oh, yeah, five gold an hour only. An hour. That can be problematic. Problematic. I mean, Florence. I mean, we are both in the same group. Can we share with this one in this instance? I mean, we're not necessarily per se going to. So, what are you trying to share? What are you trying to share? Um, I mean. Our seeing eye mummy. Yeah. Oh, you would like to oh, check it as shared like property. Shared property. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is yes. important to note that all dealings of shared property, winnings and losings, are specified in the contract you will sign at the end of this tour. Also, quick question. Um, am I allowed to talk to the Kraken? Uh, you may. You may. Although Carlos is not a very chatty person. Doesn't get much company? No, uh, you just uh, not not particularly not. fond of speaking. Again, and why? I'm just curious. You know. Interesting to question your I um But, uh, with that said, we have many different sections of games I can take you to. We have many sections of gambling areas. You'll need to check in at the check-in station near the bottom right here, where he flies you guys down over to the middle boat, bottom right, which is the entrance. Um, got a quick question. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. By extension, I mean, I really don't want to call out phrase, but... Where would uh, my familiar fall fall under in this um, ruling? What would your what? What would your what? Familiar. Familiar. Uh, your familiar uh, would fall under would fall a under summoned under pet. A summon... Since summons can disappear or appear at will, we tend not to uh, charge for them. Oh, and which Gerzel does kind of look and uh, gives a pointed look towards Pixie with calling it a pet. <laughs> Pex, the, pixie, the pixie smiles and Carlos's tentacle weaves behind it. I don't think he likes... She doesn't like being called... Hey, 
doesn't matter what a matter what familiar likes being called. I pat floor. I pat. Wait, wait. We didn't sign anything yet, right? No. No. I pat. I pat Ursula on the head and say, "You're the best here, though." It's also too important to remember that the no contact rule is only enforced while inside of the casino gambling areas. There are several areas that are not gambling areas, such as smoking areas, drinking areas, partying areas, the orgy den. The orgy den. Yes, the orgy den. Hi, dear. Is anyone? Does anyone happen to be outside near us? Uh, I mean, there's no one, like, that you could, like, see specifically here. Uh, most of them are inside because it's early and, you know, the place is opening up still. But you do see a couple workers outside walking around. Okay. Noted. Huh? Noted. Um, got also another question about the travel pattern of this, uh, lovely establishment. At what what places are you planning on stopping? Well, uh, our travel, as you can see, we're fairly big, is a little slow. Is a little slow. But we'll be traveling our route around the mountain and then back through to the capital. It'll probably be a total of six hours. Six hours. Okay. Well, maybe. Maybe ten. Maybe ten. Depends on the weather. Depends. When it's icy, we have to go it's slower. Icy. Don't want to slip down the mountain. Don't slip down the mountain. Oh, of course. Last time that happened, I can't tell you how much trouble we got in. Oh, I don't doubt it. So it should be a ten hour until we hit the middle, which. Hopefully, assuming that it should be reasonable. Oh my goodness. Um. Yeah, we should reach the capital and kind of do a little yeah. bit of gambling so we're not stowaways. Yeah, and. Be solid. Uh, by the way, quick question Do you have a rest area that we won't be disturbed if we choose to get some rest in? Uh, we do, however, those are for rent. For what? For rent. For rent. Oh. Even yes. if it is just a mere probably eight, a four to eight hours? Oh, yes. For a private rest area, private. yes. There's there's open there's public areas open. you can try and rest in. Though I wouldn't suggest it necessarily. Yeah. Of course. A lot of people probably thought that Carly had... Wait, what did you say? Um, you cut in and I said a, a lot of people probably had the same thought that Carly had cooked brain steel in the public area. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Lawrence is just like, okay, so <laughs> how much is per se renting? Because I'm just factors, factoring it in just in case you need to, you know, we need to rest for any time soon. Uh, usually the rental is roughly about 10 gold an hour. That's not bad. Not bad, not bad. But also we still have to, you know, make sure we make enough so we can pay the interest, uh, the interest fee and the extra fee, if I remember correctly. Hearing correctly. Yes. Bet. Yes. Bet. Oh, don't get bleh with me. You know you have, we still have to deal with that, the exit fee. Which, roughly, if we can, can we get an estimate of what it would look like for us? Minus the whole winning and losing part. Uh, so with the hundred, uh, the only exit fee is the winning losing part. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's based on your winning losings, which I believe was 15%. Is that or 30? Might have been 30%. But, uh, Either way, either way, the uh, the main cost for entry was a hundred if you gamble, uh, up to the set minimum of a couple times, and then uh, 
two hundred for the stowaway fee. Oh, and then the stowaway fee also had an additional charge on leaving. Okay, so about two fifty. If I'm not hearing it correctly. Uh, two plus then whatever you win or lose. So, the basic minimum here I think is like twenty or thirty gold. Oh. And you need to do that three or four times. I mean, out of character, I have um ninety, I think. I have at least. 52 gold pieces. That's why I was like, well, can we at least make up the rest of the 50? Get up the rest of the 50 by just doing scrolls. I have 93 gold. Which, that means, Scarlet, if Florence gives her the remaining money she needs, she can be going scot-free. You know. Yeah. So is it, wait, is it, is it 200 for both of us? Yes, as long as you the gamble the minimum four times. Each. Oh, also you didn't oh, also say you if you were checking Wedge's property or a pet. Um, Which pets. would be 50 gold. Pets, yeah, pets, pets cost 50. Pets are free, right? No. Summon pets no. are free. Yeah, which Florence is um, or, uh, familiar with the count under that, so she... Okay, so Ursula's safe. Okay. So and then, um, and the uh, and the uh, my stuff is. Well, it would be four hundred for each of us plus fifty because his behind is considered cargo. So two fifty, four fifty. If I'm getting correct, if I'm getting it correct, not two fifty. Uh, uh, only if you go with the stowaway run. run. But then if you no. do the stowaway run, it would be more. But it should be two fifty because it's one hundred a piece. It's two hundred okay. a piece if you go stowaway. No, no, no stowaway. So yeah, without stowaway, it's one hundred a piece plus fifty for wedges a pet. Yeah, but then you have to do the minimum of 20 to 30 gold four times a piece, which will be roughly, let's say you lost all four hands, that would be 120 plus 15 to 30% of 120, so 150 each, if you were to lose every time. But we're probably not going to lose every time. Yeah, it's actually pretty statistically... Not I usual. mean, this is why Florence said she'll go for riddles. Because riddles are easy to solve. I mean, she does have a decent intelligence for it. And she can ask a good riddle, too. It's true. Depends on if you can meet the minimum riddle uh, bets. I mean, what's the minimum for it? Uh, she can ask. D depends on the different areas, but I think the minimum is usually 50. Fifty riddles. No, fifty, fifty gold per bet. And is it for telling the riddle and see if she can stomp the stomp the it make the person give up or? Well, to, since it's an open establishment, it's a roundhouse versus the house. You have a, the house versus a riddle speaker or teller, and you bet on who wins. So I'm guessing Florence does not get to answer the riddle personally. You do when it's your turn. Okay. But you have to have money have in to, to money sit in. at the table, and to be in the listing, you have to sit at the table. Just like a regular Just casino. Like a re of course. So this is one of those... Florence has to actually be able to do a pull this off. But then again, they did say something about a trading hall. There is a trade hall where you can exchange for the different things you'll need to gamble. Because there's actually not usually money gambled at the, the tables. That's not what this place is about. Because you know what I'm thinking of doing, right? But if I can get some parchment paper and 
it, I mean, how long? It shouldn't take too long to make up a small, reasonable spell scroll. Uh, I don't remember exactly how long it takes in 5e. I know in 3.5 it took a while. No, it does. They have rules for it. Um, it takes like a year. I ask. Can I ask? I'm an old. Um. Can we. Uh. Find an uh, end session? Okay, here it is. I found it. First level Ooh. spell scrolls take. That seems like a lot. No, no, I found it. Um, it's in page one hundred thirty-three of Xanagar's Guide to Everything. That sounds like an additional one. It should be in the DMG. In which, um, here it is. I, there's a short answer to this, but I realize, yeah, that's not gonna happen without some prep ahead of time. I was gonna say, it's usually not, like, bam, like, scroll created. Yeah, no, yeah, it takes no. a lot of money and time. It doesn't matter what level the fucking spell is. Yeah, found it. But it's just that it would have been nice. It's true. If only I had sent you to a casino with stuff to gamble with, but what would the fun in that be? Then how could I make you leverage your very being? Yeah, no, 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 no. Florence does enough of that with dealing with that, um, that carnival, for goodness sake. Anyway, uh, he says, so now that you've had the tour, would you like to come in? We can take you down to hello, the entrance. Hello, hello, hello. 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 hello? hello? Okay, God. Hi. I couldn't hear. My, I asked a question and nobody answered me. Oh Sorry. my God. I thought, I thought I'd gone deaf and my little green circle wasn't appearing. I thought I, like, I thought Michael's server muted me. Oh, um, what was the question? Um, if, if I could be really old and boring and ask. Old and boring and ask what? For an if ending she could call for a stopping point. Oh, yeah. oh which, old. You know, she didn't even, she did even mention that in chat. Yeah. Which, yeah. I mean, like, the Legends and I even used that. That's I want to note that again that Michael is unconscious by his own volition. <laughs> And yeah, in, in League of Legends again. <laughs> mm-hmm. And not even freaking surprised anymore. Uh, this definitely can be a good spot. I assume everyone's coming in, including Wedge, the the seeing eye mummy that, you know, is unconscious so he can't see shit right now. Useless. But yes, I hope you like the look of the casino. I wish it didn't take a, a half hour of falling down a mountain to get back here. <laughs> hey, that was fun. To be fair, we at least didn't, we didn't chase after him. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sorry we uh, I'm sorry we have to end pretty soon because I'm old and boring. No. No, it's all right. I get it. Uh, and it's fine. I got a bunch of shit I should be doing anyway. With that said, With that uh, said, the Pixie is, uh, you know, offering your fate. You can decide it next time as we leave off on this cliffhanger. Uh, you know, be ready for more adventures with Fawns, the Pixie, Carlos, the Kraken, the Gnomes, uh, you know, Jameson and Matthew, and of course, Wedge, the unconscious seeing eye mummy. Seeing eye mummy.